We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. Once again, we take part in hashtag Turn Base Thursday Fest. Celebrating everyone who makes, plays, and loves turn-based video games. The event runs from April 4th through to the 8th. And as part of uh, this hashtag turn-based Thursday Fest, they have reached out to content creators all across the globe to take part in sharing some of the incredible games featured during this event through their own Twitch live streams and YouTube premieres. There's a ton going on, so be sure to check it all out. Go be free, check it out. Well, I mean, after after the premiere and the video and stuff. But then go be free and check everything out. However, there's more. Uh, if you want more turn-based action after the event, every Thursday you can check out hashtag turn-based Thursday on Twitter as it brings together content creators, developers, players, and lovers of turn-based games with different hosts each week. It's just a curated place to share all things turn-based. That all being said, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into Bionic Doos with its an incredible opening theme song here, and it is going to be a fantastic time. I think I'm going to try doing pauses throughout the recording to get through some of the, I don't want to say tedious, because I actually enjoy, that's one of the things I really enjoy about the game, but I understand it's not the most exciting or compelling thing to watch. And that is uh, the gear and stuff between each mission. You have to kind of change out stuff, try to get this to work there, and so on and so forth. So what I think I'll do is show you guys kind of how that works. And then as we go, I'll pause the recording and then come back into it and kind of maybe just recap what we picked up and show you some of the new stuff. So I think that'll make it a little bit more enjoyable. But if you guys are into a bunch of very technical and... Just a lot of information. Bionic Dudes is one of my favorite games from Arkham Games. In fact, it's one of the games that I first covered in its totality over a decade ago when I started. So Bionic Dudes, I actually have a full Let's Play uh, through that on the channel. And yeah, just I really, really like Bionic Dudes. It's got funny writing in it, funny little voice acting. It's just a fun, tactical, turn-based game. It's, it's, just, it's really, really cool. I like it a lot, so... I'm super happy that I get a chance to showcase it again on the channel. And uh, it's also uh, one of the companies that we work with in Indie Brothers. So uh, multiple reasons I want to cover this. But yeah, let's let's just dive in and begin, folks. Start a new game. Um, I, Iron Man doesn't really matter. Difficulty hard, sure. All right, I think I'm probably going to run with Genji. So just to give you guys a, a rough idea. You understand what Iron Man is. Uh, it's basically one save, and then you know, we go from there. I, I'm a little worried the game might crash or something, but eh, probably not since I'm not doing a live stream right now. So, multiple different difficulties, like multiple different difficulties, from casual to easy to normal to hard to expert to misery, and you'll see there's just a ginormous amount of information that pops up. Like, the tooltips have everything you can conceivably ever want to know in Arkham Games games. It's like what they're known for. They give you just so much information that a lot of people are like, ah, they don't know what to do with it. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but I prefer this every single time over not having the information that I need or want in front of me. So I happen to like this. I'm not going misery. Uh, hard might even be too much for me, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, there's a multitude of these different things. These are not robots or mechs. These are considered exos. That's what they are called. And there are a total of six. We have the assault, the siege, the sniper, and the science selected right now. There is also a ninja and I don't remember the other one. A brawler. A brawler. So... And they all have very various different strengths and weaknesses, and you can actually take a look at the, the various different ones. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to run with this group in a minute, but we also have a multitude of different pilots. And if you hover over each pilot, we're not going to go into all of the details, but they all have different quirks, things that make them better or worse, or advantages to playing as them. So, for everyone who's not Genji, you start off with the Assault, the Siege, the Sniper, the Science, the Brawler, or the Ninja. 
So one of the or four of the six, you get to choose four of the six, and you start off, and they're just your basic exos. However, with Genji, he is the only one who starts off already knowing where the locations of the epic versions of these are, and you start with those. So the epic versions have a lot of advantages. In fact, throughout all of the other characters that you can play as, they are hidden in various different places, and you have to go and do a mission to unlock that epic variant of whatever EXO you're running. So Genji kind of gets a jump start on it, and I'm going to go with that. But in the past, I really believe I ran a lot with Meg. She's the one who basically gives you a higher a higher total. Well, we'll just read it here. It's, it's just as easy to explain. Formerly a mechanic, but the accident led her to become an EXO driver. Meg is able to utilize her skills and knowledge to get better performance out of EXO parts. Loot that she finds. So instead of having like a Mark IV item, which is what you're picking up, it will have stats like a Mark VI and so on and so forth. So it's uh, it's pretty good. So I, I ran a lot of Meg back in the day, but uh, this time we're going to go with Genji and we're going to get started. So uh, Iron Man, yep, got it. All right, and is he going to talk to us? No? Usually there's a starting narrating thing here. That, that's fine. Uh, there we go. Like, how do I move the map? Okay, so this is our starting uh, location, and essentially, robots are taking over the world, more or less. And, or the city, I guess, in this case. And we are essentially kind of the last humanity stuff. We're piloting or controlling the Exos, and they are basically fighting back against these robots that are taking over and you can see on the right hand side this is what's going to happen in the final wave these robots specifically at whatever level they are is going to be coming to kill us in the final wave however we have various different places that we can go these various different nodes that we can go to and we get various different things from them in this case this is a hacker this is a data center filled with uh, the three three x the usual number of locked doors with loot behind them uh, you have to destroy the reactor at the end to uh, win. Uh, however, uh, you're going to have to have a lot of hacking points in order to do it. Chances are most of the stuff that you're going to get is going to be computer related. So let's go take a look at our actual exos. And we have more than we normally do. So if I recall correctly, the epic, or sorry, the basic assault has grenade launcher. Assault, yeah. Has the grenade launcher, the light machine gun, and the laser rifle. It's got, like, the shields, the reactors, the propulsion, the computer. It doesn't have the volatizer, and it doesn't have the plasma rifle. So he ended up getting double, uh, two extra weapons on top of it. I believe there are other stat changes or something as well, but it has been a little while. Um, we can roll the mouse. Yeah, we can roll the mouse to the siege. The siege started with the light machine gun, the rocket launcher, and... I think the plasma cannon. We also get the shadow torpedo. The sniper, probably just the three up top. And now we get the plasma rifle. And the science did not have the chain gun. So those are some of the changes. Anyway, so all these various different things are these little holes and things, these little squares that are empty are where we can put these upgrade items. And we're going to be able to buy some every single time that we go and we do a mission. We're going to get some money and then we can either sell and we're going to get items too. And we can either sell the items that we're not using or place them in until we get better items and sell them at that point. The shops have pretty good stuff, but they're pretty expensive. So there might even go several times where we can actually afford any of the thing. We might just be like, oh, okay, we're back. We put in all the stuff and then we're out of here. So I think I will maybe upgrade the assault guy to start with it's not really the greatest of ideas but it's what I'm going to start with all right I'm going to put this on the laser rifle and it's basically it fits into weapons and it's 10% to attack power and you can see down here uh, we're using it consumes 10 power so it's using 10 power if we took it off we would gain 10 power 
and we would lose 18 damage because we're gaining 10%, 180 is the damage, so 18 extra damage. All right, we also have this produces power. Might as well just throw it in here for now. Uh, shield related stats, sure. And mines, um, well, why not? We're just gonna buff up the epic assault guy to start with. All of the, all of them are pretty good. The science guy, as as far as fighting goes, maybe not the best. All right, firefight, that's a bit rough. Science station, uh, high quality computer parts. I guess maybe we start there. It's not the best. In fact, it it kind of leads to a dead end. Uh, it's yeah it's it's yeah yeah we're gonna do it it's fine all right so here we are you can zoom in and out with the mouse quite far out and quite far in i will probably zoom in and out a little bit here and there okay i can move that way all right so currently we have God, we have to use that to move. Currently, we have a cannon bot. Oh, God. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll get to this in a minute. But currently, we're using the Epic Assault Exo, and it has a sensor range of 10. Let's take a peek at the science uh, bot, or the Exo, shall we? It's got a sensor range of a little bit higher than 10, 22. So we can see now a variety of different enemies that are on the field. So if we take a look, we got a lot of dumb bots. Now the dumb bots are a ranged assault bot with questionable aim. Uh, we've got some gaff bots. Uh, a siege bot that never ever pays attention to what it is doing. Uh, and you'll see some of the funny things happen as we go. So the bots are not programmed very well. They are specifically programmed with flaws to make them have specific behaviors that they have to follow. And those behaviors are quite funny at times, but they allow you to do what you do. Otherwise you would stand no chance against anything. So we have the Eagle bot here straight from the windy foundries in Eagle face forest. When swooping, these Eagles get locked into the direction and they cannot move in a different direction until they hit a wall or something like that something like your face so yeah you'll see like eagle bots just bouncing back and forth unable to do anything it's quite hilarious i assure you invigorated dumb bot a ranged assault bot with questionable aim and an overexcited demeanor and finally i think this is the last different type it is the cannon bot powerful siege bot that is nonetheless cowardly refusing to move or attack unless another bot is next to it so you want to isolate those all right, I think I'm gonna go to the sniper bot. And I need to take that guy out. All right, so he's no longer a threat until someone moves next to him, which is about to happen. All right, the eagle bot's not a problem. I'm gonna switch over to the assault bot. And we got the laser beam out. No. And boom. All right, so he can bounce back and forth here, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and take the light machine gun and start laying them out. He's only got an attack range of two, so it becomes pretty easy to outmaneuver him. And now, so long as none of the other bots roll up next to the cannon bot, we don't have to worry about him. He is basically useless. We can walk right up to him, shake his hand, be like, how's it going there, buddy? And he's just going to be like, ah, why'd you do this? It's not fair. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I'm a little bit too close to do what I want to do here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and hit him with the grenade launcher, which uh, works out pretty nice. There we go, he's lonely. All right, let's go ahead and open up with the, C the science bot again. 
And the science bot, again, very nice because he's got just like so, so much range that he, he's got going on uh, with his sensors. So you can really open up the map and see exactly what you're getting yourself into. And his weapons are not necessarily the greatest, but eh, they're okay. And the, with the Gatling uh, turret thing, it's actually quite nice. So I'm going to switch over to that. So the chain gun, the way this works, it's rapid fire. Whenever this fires and with an even amount, to, uh, even number amount of ammo in the chamber, the enemy doesn't get a chance to respond. So basically, you get to fire twice, is what it's saying. How much damage is that? 250. And these boys only have 346 HP. So we'll hit the space bar to wait, and then we'll rat, tat, bang. Down he goes. It's very, very nice. The unfortunate reality, though, is oftentimes the bots don't want to come to the forefront all of the time. And that's okay. We do have some fun things we can do. Like, for instance, you see right here we've got um, some sort of explosive fuel tank. Tells us in the bottom corner down here if you guys are ever wondering where I'm reading all this information. So we can go and we can take the sniper, or is it the siege bot? It's the siege bot. The sniper has it too? No. And we can go ahead and we can launch shadow torpedoes. We have five of them. And we're going to hit right here. Whoa! Blew up that whole area. It did alert a few friends. So, you know, there is that. But we could also take those friends out. Yeah, we do have a few of these shots available to us. But that feels like a waste, so I'm probably not going to do that. Alright, we're going to go back to our laser rifle. And we're going to take him down. We're going to wait. One, and done. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z. Alright, back on up we go. Hey, Cannonbot. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Now, we have the plasma rifle. This is not a good idea. I'm not going to do that. But the volatizer. I can never... Yeah, this one will work out pretty nicely. <laughs> Alright. I can hold shift to aim at the ground. If we ever need to. What's the range on this guy? Five? Alright, and then we can switch back over here. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, it's, it's a gaff bot. Okay, actually, that's a little scary. That one's a, that one's a little scary. Um... We have the rocket launcher. Okay. I think I can do this. And we take him down. Alright. And then we just laser this guy a couple more times. We do have a limited amount of ammo on the left. These, All these numbers are a limited amount of ammo and things. We can also lay the mines that we have. We all have a certain amount of stealth as well. We have 10 ourselves on the Assault, on the Siege only 5, on the Sniper 12, and on the Science 15. The Science Bot has Hacking, which we'll need to do stuff like this. But you'll see, as it says at the bottom, when you first start off a run, you have no idea what any of the computers do. And it tells you, it says, engaging in unsolicited information management at this terminal. Honestly, we have no clue. Hacking this terminal may cause monkeys to fly out of your nose, but we do suspect that two terminals that look exactly the same will cause the same effect within the city. Can anyone say poison tester? Or sorry, taster. So essentially, you could walk over there and it could just explode and kill you or instantly kill your guy, drain your ammo. There's, there's positives and negatives. Most of them are positive, but there are definitely some negative ones and that super sucks. So I tend to wait until later to use those, even though that's probably not the ideal situation. 
How far can I plasma rifle? Pretty far. Oh, there's a computer terminal right there, too. Alright, can I... Yeah, that works. Uh, yep, no, this is all fine. This compass is effective. We're, we're doing okay. All right, we're gonna switch back over to our grenade. Nope. Uh, siege bot. We're gonna go with the rocket launcher here. Uh, yep, this is uh, totally fine. Okay, I am gonna cut this off right now. I don't want that cannon bot coming at me. I'm gonna switch to the science bot because I want the chain gun to get the double tap. One, two, one, two. And you'll consider you'll you'll continuously see the eagle bot just moving his way out. It's not uh it's not great. Oh. Oh that yeah, that got a little scary there for a second. I meant to do that. It burns. Coming down. I think that guy might have shot at me. I'm not 100% sure. We're just going to take a, a several uh, shot uh, situation there. Make sure he goes down. And he did. So we're down to two folks underneath us. Cannonbot that can't do anything, and there's still quite a few up here. But this is not that big of a map. Some of the maps are quite large. This one's not that bad. However, that eagle bot moving around is mildly inconvenient. To say the least. Systems offline. Okay, they bounced off of each other. And we shall be able to slay them eventually, probably. Eh. They are bound to bounce off of each other again at some point. But that's fine. We can wait it out. Again, that, that thing is a little bit scarier. Oh. Oh no. He missed. Um. We're going to use the stealth. I did not notice that he came to life. So that that's on me. Uh, that could have cost us right there. Pretty big time, but it didn't. Alright. I'm going to say goodbye to you. We're going to go back to the assault boy at this point. And this guy should be floating right past us. Unable to really do too, too much. Care of those guys, and we could probably just use our laser again. That is the uh, risk when you are uh, doing stuff. You could accidentally not notice somebody sneaking up on you. I'm usually a little bit better about it, but I'm just getting back into controlling the camera and, and keeping things 100% uh, straight here. Additionally. There is another thing that I have yet to show you guys, which we will uh, reveal here in a second. It is a pretty useful item, or skill, and it's down here. It is the whistle. When you whistle, it alerts everything within range of your sensors. So for the science guy, whistling is pretty inclusive. 
However, if we switched over to the assault guy, the whistling not going to do a whole bunch. So really, you, you kind of got to play around with it a little bit and see if and when and where and how it makes sense. This is our exit strategy. We have to get there in order to exit, but I would prefer to clear out the map if I can first. That does feel like the a better play. Well, I woke some stuff up, it looks like. For lack of a more accurate term. All right, I'm pretty sure that we are secure where we're at. We also have the rail gun, which is pretty incredible. We're gonna use it right here. It does quite a bit of the old damage with quite a bit of the old uh, Okay, this is gonna be ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, with quite a bit of the old, uh, got, you gotta love the uh, the eagle bots. Quite a bit of the old damage with quite a bit of the old range. That's that's what I was trying to get at. I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to make sure I don't mess this up. All right. So for safety purposes. Oh, that's a plasma rifle. Sorry, sorry. Uh, siege. Or oh, the shadow torpedoes. One and two. All right, so at this point, the only one left that could potentially cause this issue is the one at the bottom. There is no other possible way we can get got by the other bots. So we just take him out and we're good. But now we have to go and roll some dice. So let's roll the dice. All right, hacking points. Uh, disables attack of all bots in sensor range. So that is a buff. That is a good thing. We don't know what this one does. We're going to go take a peek. Enhances attack range of all bots. Okay, so now all bots have a bigger attack range. Somebody come over here. I'm afraid to be by myself. Okay, so uh, there's another one up there. There's one right here. This is our exit, and this is a false wall you can shoot it or walk into it and it will just blow up Everybody's so let's uh go take a peek at that real quick okay sorry false wall you can't just walk into i i am sorry you have to shoot it and then you can get through there there are certain doors and things that you can just walk through and sh such in junk and stuff anyway they are uh they are quite lonely but we don't care about that uh, so this is a terminal that doesn't require us to do the thing. This is basically a sensor terminal. This terminal links to several surveillance units. Hacking it will reveal everything in a fairly wide range. I'm if you didn't have a a large sensor bot like the science bot, that would be I'm a good way of clearing out or seeing a bit further. Now there are specifically, I can't remember, is it tiger bots or tread bots or something that will detect when they are detected by sensors and then they will come after you so your sensors are very useful but also a double-edged sword all right this is another one of the uh disables uh, attack of all bots you see at the bottom there in sensor range so that's one that we've already found uh we don't need to use this terminal but we can this is one more of our hacking points we get back all of our hacking points all of our stealth and all of our ammunition every single mission that we go through. So I'm it's fine to myself. use stuff while you're in I'm the mission. Oh, nice one. I go out for a coffee and you're already done. Yep, yep, yep. We're already done. All right. So anytime you do any of these missions, when you come back, you will get loot plus whatever you picked up inside. Sometimes there's chests and various different loot things inside the the map or the mission itself and you'll be able to bring those back with you. However, uh, you only get one per EXO that survived the mission. So you see here we got four because all four of our guys survived. So we're gonna go ahead and close it, then we go over and we check out our new stuff. And we'll see here that we have um, stuff that goes into computer, 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 which we already knew. This adds hacking points per mission. 
I tend to l prefer to have extra hacking points spread out across all of my uh, my people because what happens if somebody dies? You know, that's that's a problem. So I think I'm going to go to the Epic Assault and I'm going to give him regen, mo more mines, and five hacking points per mission. Then we're going to go over to the Siege Bot and we'll give him five hacking points per mission and all shield related stats and damage reduction. Actually, this is really good too for the other guy. All right, hold on. What we're going to do is go back to the Assault. We're going to get rid of the mines and swap it for that. So now he's got more shieldy things. He's got some damage reduction. At some point, you can get some of your bots up or some of your exos up to a specific point where they can take a little damage. And then as long as they're not like constantly shot, they can recover from it. Or you can get tanky enough to where you reduce the damage so high that they don't do damage to you. It's, uh, it's a lot of balance, a lot of uh, maneuvering around and whatnot. All right, 7% attack power to all weapons. That sounds really good for the sniper and the siege bot. I'm going to put it on the sniper for now. And this is sensor range, trap skill, and hacking points. I'm not going to spread it out too much. I am going to put this one on our boy here. To the science exo we go. And then the epic siege exo gets uh, the mines. All right, so we can go to the store and you'll see here how much money, we have 330 monies, we cannot buy anything. There's some really, really good stuff. 21% increased attack power, increased attack range, area of effect, this has got two attack range, ammo capacity, attack power to all weapons, and just on and on and on. So yeah, and then you're gonna end up having to balance how much power you have with how many different items that you're trying to equip to bolster the various things that you get. So there's a lot of kind of inventory management that goes into this. But it looks like I'm not really going to have to do any of the pausing stuff because uh, these missions can be quite lengthy. So yeah. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to do the hacker thing, I guess. Also, it's filled with mines and tripwires. Destroy the energy to win profit okay well this one is the hacking thing so there's gonna be some stuff there's a thief bot it's got a range of four it's sticky fingered bot that takes a piece of your most potent ammunition every time his attack hits you so that's not great we definitely don't want him to do that I believe our range is seven no it's eight he's got 416 health we do 198 so we have to hit him three times I'm gonna wait for him to get closer. And then what I could do is switch this over and take him out with the machine gun. You can switch to whatever you're going to switch to as far as weapons go. So you can be like, ah, no, I'd rather do, oh, let's try this. This doesn't take any of your turns. It doesn't like advance a turn. But if you switch to one of the other exos, it does. So be aware of that. All right, this is dangerous, but we have to do it. Oh, okay. So there's a door. Doors will stop your sensors from going through it. I don't particularly like it, but it happens. All right, so we have a ninja bot and another thief bot. We already know how the thief bot works. The ninja bot, however, a ninja with a shotgun? Aw, yeah. Also equipped with optical dampeners that reduce your line of sight more and more the closer he gets to you. His attack range is four, 346 HP. So... Let's see how close we have to get to whistle him. I think here. All right. And we're going to try to take him out. No, no, I can see. Just fine. Thank you. One, two, a machine gun for you. All right, now, opening a door is always super risky. There could be something right on the other side that just instantaneously kills you. Ah, more of the eagle bots. Our boys that like to fly away and not control themselves. Another thief bot. Let's again utilize our whistle. I, I don't know how this is going to work for him. Not well, apparently. It's not going to work well for him. 
All right, I think we can whistle for the thief bot again. I'm gonna switch over and do some stuff with our sniper. All right, back to science bot. Okay, so we get to see some more stuff coming out here now. So what are we looking at here? The ninja bot, uh, the thief bot. Okay, is that all we're seeing here? Ninja bots and thief bots, eagle bots. Ninja, ninja, eagle. All right, well, none of that seems incredibly terrifying. Uh, 180, 180, the... yeah, we can do that. All right, let's get our sniper. Let's get him to whistle. I drew more than I wanted to. guy another ninja bot i think we're fine with that all right he's only got a range of two so the eagle bot not super scary all right we got doors everywhere there are a lot of narrow hallways it's a little terrifying like i said things can go very badly oh it's a locked door okay so the difference between a door and a locked door. A locked doors, I'm 99% sure. <laughs> I am 99% sure that they are able to be opened because on the other side is a chest. Requires one hacking point. Oh, and then that's the one person I didn't give a hacking point to. Wait. Didn't I have hacking for everyone, but I guess not. All right. And there we go, a large loot container. Auxiliary shield generator of the wind. And we have the old uh, naming convention uh, for items and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is a locked door. Again, it's fine. The ninja bot just landed on a mine. So let's do, uh, let's do this. So if you need to place mines behind you, the arrow key on your keyboard while you don't use it for much, it will turn you around. Not really. How much does this do? 120? That wasn't there a minute ago. Okay, we can kill him with the mines that we laid down and the machine gun, so there you go. Wasn't too, too bad. Uh, they do have some pretty good line of sight things where they can see you from, so from fairly far away. So do be aware of that. Uh, again, whistling with you is a terrible plan. Let's not do that. I don't mind taking him out with this guy, but... Alright. I'm gonna go to the Assault XO. We can get a little closer. Uh, 10 takes one to hack the door. Large loot container. Uh, okay. Hacker's mine layer. Not too bad. I believe this is a job for our grenade launcher. No. The ninja bot's gonna come back over. So he couldn't go to the left to get to us because the bot was there so he was pathing a different way to get to us that's why he went right if you guys are curious there all right another large loot container this actually turned out to be quite a, a lucrative uh, little endeavor for us all right this one fully restores stealth charge that exo that opens it so we could use our stealth a little bit more freely not that we've had to do it really so far, but we can definitely use it more freely at this point because of that. I'm going to shoot this and now we're going to censor it up with our boy. With the old science bot. Is there any uh, new things? Nope. Same, same old, same old. All right. We have the eagle bot right there and that's fine. 
think I will whistle for the eagle bot. Finished him off. I think the siege bot could do some good here. How did he live through that? That should have definitely hit him. Hmm. I don't know why that thief bot knows that we're here, but. He does, for some reason or another. Hmm. There we go. Alright, we also can switch back over to the siege bot, go down here to our shadow torpedo, pick off that guy, pick off this guy. We're, we're doing pretty okay right now. So we, we can, again, take a few liberties when and where we want. If we want. So this is an automatic door. It'll just open if we walk over it. Oh, I stepped over a trap. I didn't even notice was there. The uh, landmines. That, that's my fault. Totally missed it. Uh, Eagle bot. All right, we want to make sure our chain gun is always on an even number. I think we're going to go here with this. I don't really need to avenge you, I don't think. I think you're fine. All right. Incredible soundtrack, by the way. All right, the ninja bot might be a problem here. I think we whistle for him to come and hang out and we take him out with our sniper. Bring it on. There it is. Why was I programmed to feel pain? That is a incredibly good and disturbing question. It's a tarp. Alright, the thief bot found us because we stepped on a, a wire here, a trip wire, and we made noise. It alerted the nearby Bodolonians, and they came forth to slay us, but they were unable to conquer the beast that is us. All right, this one's cool. Fully restores the shields, so if we took any damage, it will restore the shields. I'm trying to remember how the shields work. Do we even have shields at this point? We have regen. Uh, I We might not have shields. Shields might just also be our health bar. I think that's the case. All right, this is an actual loot container. So more stuff there. The other two were actual um, buffs to our, sorry. Uh, yeah, buffs or replenishment things. So this is going pretty well. That is a loot container. Locked door and locked door. It's more loot. Uh, Eagle bot. Don't have a bad day. I'm gonna have to shoot something before we continue on. More loot. All right, that works for me. All right, so this uh, false wall is stopping my hacking ability. And the thief bot right there wants to come and hang out. All right, another locked door. More loot. Ooh, a laser scope. That's probably pretty good. That's a regular door. That's one that we want to be careful about. I believe... works pretty well for me all right science bot back out on the field you can shoot through mines which is pretty nice uh, I'm 
going to whistle and upset the entire world. Probably not the best plan that I've ever had. But I believe in myself. Me. I don't understand why it's run. Oh, that's the eagle bot. I'm like, I don't really understand why it's running away from us. Alright. That worked out pretty okay. There's a door there. And there's a bunch of big old nasty things up there. Making it go boom will be a successful mission. I think I can blow it up and then I still have to leave. So, with that being the case, we're going to go here. We're going to bring our plasma cannon out and we're going to say, Good day, sir. Boom. Big old explosions. A lot of hurt things. Oh, a silence bot. That's new. We, we didn't see that one yet. Silence bot. Quietly redirects all incoming damage to an allied bot within a range of five. Worse, the redirected damage is only 75% as strong as it should have been. Did we mention it's handheld flame weapon yet? It's got a short range flame weapon. It's he's not great. He's also not terrible. He, he's uh he's acceptable. He, we can handle him. But yes, he can actually make our lives somewhat miserable with the fact that he can redirect damage. All right, we're just going to sit here and it's going to basically be like shooting um at a shooting gallery here. Take care of that guy. I think I whistle. Oh, yeah, that's never going to work, is it? He's stuck in that loop infinitely. Oh, well, hold on now. Alright, I'm bringing some more people out. Uh, these uh, thief bots, yeah, this is fine. One and two. Three, I forgot. We did need we did need the triple pass there. Come on. One, two, and four. Uh one, two, three, four, five. I think these are the F keys maybe. To switch them if you want to use keyboard shortcuts. I'm not sure where it tells you that. You might have to look it up in the uh control panel. The controls panel, I guess. Well, he can never really get to us. It's just we want to be able to get past him, is our thing. All right. We're just gonna take him out like that, and it is beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice styles with the Z. Still got nine of these. Uh, science bot, we got ourselves a ninja hanging out inside. I am gonna whistle. And put him down. I don't know what else I might have upset doing that. I think we're good. Alright. All that's left is this area up top here, and it looks like we're, yeah, we're moving right along. We only got about ten minutes left of the, uh, of our uh, premiere here. But well, this is fine. Like I said, I didn't know exactly how far we'd be able to get. Sometimes you get really short missions, and that's kind of the beauty of this, is like every playthrough is different. Uh, I, I've died literally on the first enemy a few times. I've had it to where we had enemies that we absolutely could not take with uh, what we started with, and they just rolled up on me and just was like, well, GG. I'm like, oh, no. No, that's not, oh, no. And I was very saddened by this, but it was pretty funny. It's not really something you want to see happening, but yeah, sometimes it's pretty good. Well, I mean, they're going to split off like that. We should start seeing some of them coming back. Uh, let's get our science bot. Yeah, so we'll see what's coming. It's a thief bot and a big old room full of nasty stuff. All right. Rat tat bang. All right, I think it's siege bot time. Actually, you know what? It's 
it's probably assault bot time. Or sorry, assault exo time. There is a tripwire right here. Also, I did that, so you know, that's a thing that happened. You don't want to like come over here and hang out. By all means. All right, we're gonna switch over to the sniper bot. Exo, I, I will, I will eventually call them the right thing. It usually takes me a significant amount of. Oh. <laughs> I purposefully uh, trip the the trap just to aggro as much stuff as I could. I think this might be the final group of baddies, and you can see there's a lot of uh, eagle bots and things in the way. Oh, there's another gaff bot coming through now. If he ever shows up, that could be scary. Alright, we're gonna get our railgun out. And yeah, our turns are a little slower because of everything. Oh, I was hoping that we'd be able to get the kill. I was I was being greedy there. Uh, and I should have checked how much damage he actually does. 266. Yeah, that's a bit more. Alright, so this is the silence bot. It redirects stuff to enemy units within X number of stuff. So that right there was me being a bit greedy and it costing us. I went stealth and I walked away. And there we go. I figured I would kill off everything before they actually ever made it to me. That is not what happened. That is not what happened at all. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay. It's all part of my plan. Okay, it looks like we've got just a little bit left to throw out there. Keep down. Ah! Let's check the science bot, and I think that is everything. So, at, at the 11th hour... Oh, no, that's not everything. There's still a false wall. But, the 11th hour there, we fell just short of our victory, uh, our flawless victory. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a danger. Uh, yeah, we're gonna toggle stealth there, and we're gonna get a little further back. And you don't have anything. No, no, not this way. Thankfully, his propulsion system is a bit uh questionable. So we're uh, we're pretty okay. We're pretty okay still. Alright, so there's a small loot container up here. We're gonna go grab that. And we'll come over to this side. That is unfortunate. I'm a little bummed out that I fell victim to my own hubris, but it happens. I believe there are settings that if your exo dies, it's dead permanently. Or there's settings where if it dies, you have to do a mission to go and revive it. And then I believe the base game, the, like the way the game was initially intended to be done, it wasn't if you died. I think you, you lose like points every time an exo dies or something along those lines. And if you drop below a certain amount of points, uh, the, the invasion happens immediately or you get a game over. Something along those lines. But there are missions you can go through to uh, reclaim those points. Because you had to like stop and take time to rebuild your exo. You can only do that so many times before it's game over, man. So that's like the justification for it. All right, with all of that said and done, there's nothing else that we need to do other than to exit. So let's go exit. We'll do our last uh, little bit of uh, loot, man uh, loot maneuvering and management, and uh, we'll call it close to oh, our nice adventures. Work. What have you got planned next? Gonna build yourself up? gonna weaken your enemy yeah probably both of those things all right so let me take a look and see if i can't figure out what the uh thing is each time you lose a mission oh that's what it is uh the robots attack your hq while your exos are reconstructed uh the fixed defenses can repel such attacks for a time repeated will destroy your hq but it looks like in this setting we don't lose our exo so i don't believe there is a way to recall them 
I did try playing around with some of the harder settings before, and boy howdy, it did not go well. So, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go see what we got. So we got quite a bit of loot there, right? And we would have gotten one more extra piece of loot had we not lost the sniper bot, or the sniper XO, because I did a bad thing. All right, so this fits into weapons. It is attack power increased by 16%, and area of effect by 25%. That, to me, screams siege. You want your rocket launcher to be blowing stuff up and doing more damage. So currently, the rocket launcher does a, th a thousand damage. It's got a thousand attack power. And it's got a range of nine, a splash size of two, and it's got seven ammo. We're going to move that up to 1164 damage, and the splash size goes up to three. Now, ideally, we would also be able to get something that is armor-based, but this has attack range and area of effect. This one, I actually want to put back on the assault, and I want to put that on the grenade launcher. Give us a little bit more spacing for that. All right, 36 to max shields. Yeah, our shields are our health. And to all propulsion-related stats. What is this one? 59. Same thing, basically. This one's a little bit better. So I'm going to put this on our Assault Exo. And I'm going to be taking a look here. Shields are 690, 260, 260, and 200. So I'm going to put this on the Sniper, since we did get him killed last time. I think he would have survived had he had that on there at the time. All right, we're back to our front guy here. So you can see this takes a little bit of time to actually get through. All right, area of effect and ammo capacity. That's another important one for the siege because we want more rockets. So we're going to get one extra rocket, and it's not really going to do anything to the area of effect right now, but it still adds up. And then when we get to that next threshold, it'll bump it over to the larger splash size. Okay, this is something that we can throw into a whole bunch of stuff. Weapon attack power. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do with it. How much do the shadow torpedoes do? 800. And if I throw this in, 21... 966, I like it. This produces 20 power. Now let's throw that in there for now. This consumes 20 power. I'm going to put this on our boy here. This produces 90 power and it gives us 20 regen. That's really good for, for him. So he's now regenerated. So if we take less than 86 damage, he will regenerate it. Repairs up to this much recently taken damage. Each turn that you do not get hit, you'll regen one-fifth of the listed value until all eligible damage is repaired. So regen is most effective. You can take cover between hits. And then if you couple that with uh, damage reduction, you can lower the amount of damage they do and then still out regen it. It's, it's really, really nice. All right. Uh, sensor range increase and some power that goes on our, our science bot, our science exo there. Area of effect and ammo capacity. Again, I'm going to go back to our siege bot and boom. Splash size four. Ammo capacity up to nine. I would like some additional range, but that works. It's going to be a pretty large area. We could even do that maybe to the plasma cannon, but it's only got a one ammo. So right now we need something better to really push us forward. All right. Uh, this will give us some hacking points, three. So we'll throw those on you. All shield generated stats. All right, I think I will switch this over. So damage reduction uh, goes up by one. Uh, we get a little bit more regen and we get a little bit more overall health or shields as it were. Let's see what else. Total power generation consumes 10 but gives us 12. Fits in propulsion. It's not bad. Actually goes up in power for us. It's always a good thing. All right, and then we're going to go back to the science. XO. 
This fits into the reactor computer and propulsion related things. This gives us virus points and regen. I mean, we can just do that, I guess. It's all in the same system. Let's put it there for now. And yeah, we'll throw this in. And then I guess we just stick this on someone and there we go. We can go check the store out real quick. We have 765. We could take parts off to sell to get something more, but the gap between the uh, blue and the purple is pretty high. The cheapest one being 1985. We're not gonna be able to make that much money to sell stuff. So let's see what the blue has to offer. Sensor range, total power generation, trap, no. Sentry turrets are interesting. Five damage regen, ooh, that's actually pretty good. 15 regen. I want that. I think we're gonna get it. Yeah, I want that. I want that on our uh, our assault boy. So that's gonna go in the computer. Acking regen mines. Yeah, damage reduction. Ooh. Oh, I wish I had another computer slot. I think that's another thing you get. You get extra slots and things too when you get the epic versus the unepic conversion. Hmm. Five damage reduction, 15 regen. This is also 15 regen. This is hacking points for mines, sentry turrets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. And then I think the sniper doesn't have any hacking points. No, he doesn't. All right, now he does. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we only went through two missions, but we did pretty good. So as this goes, there is a timer. I'm trying to see where the timer is. I think it tells us here. Below are the robot forces that amass so far to attack you on the final day. Their numbers grow every day, but the following missions can help. Robot Command Center will reduce the days left until final battle. It tells me somewhere. I know it does. <laughs> we'll look at it in a minute. Um, there are five total robot command centers you can bring down to 30 by attacking all of them. Maybe wise to to do so if you're doing very well. Factory, each uh, houses several fabricators so essentially it's a shame if you take them down. It reduces the level of a particular type of bot. Assassination, bosses from the robot army lurk here. You take them out, then there's no more bosses. Lion's Den, regular bots from the robot army are engaged in Highly ineffectual training exercises. Basically, take them out, and there's less of them there. You can click here to see all the listings of the various different levels. And down here is where it tells us. 48 days until the final battle. So I believe it's 50 days until the final battle. You can reduce it down to or by 30. Down to 30 by attacking them all. So it's pretty good, and you have to be strong enough to be able to handle all of these things, including like the the boss bots down here. And you can kind of see what's there. You can read it just like you would if you were in a mission. The various different bots that are actually going to be amassed to attack you. It's a very, very, very fun game, guys and gals. A lot of uh, stuff where you just kind of have to read and pay attention to what the various things do. And once you do, you can have a good laugh because some of the things are just insane. Like one guy uh, really likes other particular bots and he'll just follow them around. One dude um, will charge at you, but he's he had he ate chili or something and he's just dropping bombs or mines behind him. And then half the time his own team will follow him and he'll just murder his whole team. Uh, this is a bunch of really, really cool stuff and a bunch of different types of missions and things to do. I really like this game. Super happy I got a chance to actually cover it for hashtag turn-based Thursday fest. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic all around. Absolutely enjoyed my time. I will be playing this a bit more on my own probably. Try to finish this this one up off camera just to have another win under my belt. Anyway, guys and gals, once again, hashtag turn-based Thursday fest is going on April 4th through the 8th, 20. 24 and a ton of different streamers and things are scheduled to i suppose a few different streamers are, and and content creators are scheduled to cover 
various different games. There's over 250 games games submitted and included in this, and it looks like this is going to be potentially a yearly event that happens. So I'm looking forward to it next year. I'm enjoying it this year, and I hope you guys check out all the folks that are working so hard and head on over to Twitter. I'm not going to call it the other thing. And make sure you go ahead and you follow hashtag turn-based Thursday as they do just pull all the various turn-based games into one giant resource. You guys can check it out. I found so many titles that I've covered on the channel just through them, and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful resource, and it's a great community, so I highly recommend you go and you check that out. You follow them there, and uh, you take advantage of the event going on right now. Until the very next uh, festival thing that I'm doing, which is uh, upcoming, uh, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. This has been Bionic Dues by Arkin Games. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>